Hello, my name is Christopher. I'm one of the authors of this paper. And unfortunately, I couldn't be presentation, so I'm sending this video trying to explain what we done here in Brazil. Well, the games is based on three dimensional stimulus, motor exercise and feedback to the users, so 3D stimulus, motor exercise, plus augmented reality. This produce a low cost augmented reality game. So our paper is about this. It takes count of serious games that's about entertainment, education, physical activities, most of the VI, VI users, visual impaired users, don't have opportunity to, to do exercise, this kind of stuff. So our application is about this and augmented reality with haptic touching, touch, haptic is touching, audio and cognitive artifacts. So this is a interactive artifact based on augmented reality. So it has cognition, cognition treats about knowledge, perception, memory, attention, logic and motor control. Interactive artifacts also take count about construction, so it should be a simple process at low cost, extreme low cost. Logical, the logical application is based on augmented reality and takes count of rapid pro prototyping using an altering tool. And interaction, of course, most tangible way possible. The user should touch the application. So, contextualizing uh, augmented reality in our application is a simple equipment based on a computer, just a computer with a webcam. The computer tracks the video, tracks some features, actually tracks the markers and allow the computer to add visual information, like this application. Here is a webcam in the top, looking at this table. Here is a marker and show the information on the screen. This is a simple equipment, cheap enough to be used for most people. So, serious games treat about three items. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation is a process to change the lifestyle of someone after a disease or a traumatic incident. Other stuff that serial games take account is socialization. Socialization is bring the people back to main functions of society. For example, socialize the, the people and inclusion. Okay, let's go. Some related work. One related work that one of the authors did, teacher Kirner, did last, I think that last year, was a memory game. The user touched a virtual ball, and the 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 user in rehabilitation had to match. For example, the banana match with monkey. Another game was memory. The software show a pattern here with these three balls, and the user had to match the augmented reality layer. Another example is the Blind Hero and the VI Tennis. The Blind Hero was from the Guitar Hero game, and the, the user used a glove, and the glove sends a, a vibration telling the user which button he has to press. Another example is using the Wiimote controller. Both require an extra hardware in our, yeah, our initiative doesn't require, just a computer. So, the artifact. The artifact has a logical layer that is superimposed upon a physical layer. 
let's see what those layers are about. Well, the artifact layer, logical layer, has the potential to show a three-dimensional sound. This sound uh, is split in three, in three axes, the horizontal axis, the vertical axis, and the deepness axis. The horizontal axis is take account the left and right fan, the vertical axis take account the higher pitches and lower pitches, and the deepness is takes account the volume of the sound. So here it is stereo bells takes account the horizontal, the frequency of the sound takes account the vertical axis and the deep the volume. So so let's go, let's see. Our physical artifact is a grid with several action points. The user has to put, put a marker over this hole to do interaction. Here, here's the example of the marker. Marker is right here. Let's try to see something. Something like that. A marker. It's recognized by the software. So, how does the augmented reality work? I have a base marker, those are on the artifact, and I have an actuator marker that I hold and show to you guys. Both have some reactive zones that when collide do some, some, do, do some re reaction. And this reaction is the base of the software. Let's go, short time. So, augmented reality creates the logic. We use an altering tool called BASR, that means Behavioral Altering System for Augmented Reality, that uses an interaction machine with state machines that is programmable in. Uh, should that, there's some modes that you can program the change of the states, you can do some math, some uh, artificial intelligence and this kind of stuff. So here is the, when you apply the logical structure uh, above the physical structure, each grid has a deepness, see, with the several volumes, each grid has uh, information taking care about the pitch of the sound, lower sound, lower pitch, higher pitch, the pen, left and right. So this structure, each, each, grid, each cell has its characteristics to help the user to identify which point he has to touch. Here is the example of a therapist grid. Uh, Showing the cells, the upper cells are used to control the speed of the ball. Let's go. An example of the how the camera sees the how is the installations. The user sees the the artifact, put the markers interaction markers over the cells, but the camera that's that's scanning the, the screen and applying the augmented reality actually just see a room with closed markers. Let me show an example. Here's the, the artifact and the software recognize the markers and put the interaction zones around. Let's get well, some uses. We apply two types, a game mode and a therapeutic mode. The game mode, the user uh, plays with the computer or with a friend. The other type is a therapeutic, that the therapeutic program a sequence of exercise and pass to the user or what we call user follow the therapist, so the therapist put 
the marker and the user with another artifact has to follow the sequence. Here are the, the example. Here the first user hits the ball and sends to the second user that hits the ball again and so goes. Here's when the computer, the computer randomizes the, the action. The therapist, the therapist program sequence and pass to the user. So the user plays with a sequence. The other example, the user follows the therapist, a therapist throws the ball and sends to the user, he throws the ball again and sends to the user. Ok, let's close. Well, augmented reality allows a low cost and interactive and inclusive application. It's, we think that we can make it easy and easy to build and use structures like we did with Styrofoam. And this kind of stuff uh, makes artifacts empowered with logical layer that's made with augmented reality. This is a more affordable type of project, so can be distributed to everyone. Some conclusions, some positive points. The users told about some the calibration that was easy to do, so the user can do it at home. The therapist pointed that as the software shows a visual feedback and an audio feedback, it's an inclusive characteristic, especially with children. Some negative points, of course, this styrofoam is e easy to break and should be made of uh, more rigid uh, material like plastic, for example, or cardboard or something. The VR user will need help to build at home, so this is a, a problem. In the therapists, therapists point some difficulty to program the sequence. Well, in the future, we think that we could improve the negative points. However, one important thing that but the, the authoring tool is improving, so new features, new programming interface will be done, and we will use the develop process. We also uh, are working with, with uh, hardware improvement using an open source hardware called Arduino that's a, a hardware and software thinking implement a uh, tactical vibration to improve the, the usability so those are the, the foundations that found in our research was the CNPQ Foundation FAPMIG Foundation. Thank you very much. And those are some of the refers. I'm sorry that we couldn't be there, but feel free to send some email for, to us and ask something. Thank you very much.